Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron. And today we're doing a Vegas Movie Studio 16 Platinum uh, tutorial on an epic title effect. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the program as well to how to use it. Uh, I get most of my, actually all my tutorials are Vegas Pro. But I, I get lots of people using Movie Studio that want to use the same effects in Movie Studio that I'm using in my Vegas Pro tutorials. And for the most part, probably 80% of the tutorials I do, you can you can use Movie Studio instead of Vegas Pro. So Movie Studio is actually a very good program. It's the first program I bought. first version I bought was version, I think it was version 10 uh, years ago on a computer I don't use anymore. So the question that get asked, I have to go from memory to try and figure out uh, how to use Movie Studio and because um, it's on an old computer I don't, I don't use anymore. And... Um, so I'm going to have this installed on my computer now to help out any questions I get from you if you're using a movie studio and you want to learn how to do different effects in movie studio watching my Vegas Pro tutorials. So here we have the screens you first see when you first start the program up. So we're going to create a widescreen video. Tall video is for cell phones like those long skinny videos you see on YouTube that nobody likes to watch. So we're going to do widescreen, click close, and this dashboard. I downloaded this program last night, I started playing with it. I spent about 15 minutes on it, and it's uh, fairly similar to Vegas Pro. The layout looks actually exactly the same as Vegas Pro. And one thing I don't like about it is the clean effect. I don't like these, uh, this setup here. I don't like this one whatsoever. So what I did with Vegas Pro, all I had to do was go to View, Windows Layouts, and select, it would say Vegas uh, Pro 14 Default. And it will give you all the buttons that are hidden right now. So all you have to do is get these buttons visible, is just click on More Buttons, Edit Visible Button Set, and Show All. So you have all your buttons shown. And we'll do the same for text as well. Edit Visible Button Set. Show all. So now all our buttons are at our fingertips. We don't have to go searching for them. Okay, so let's go on with the uh, tutorial on uh, epic, two epic titles back to back. So we're going to add media. So this is stock footage I bought from production, or from not production grade, from uh, Pond 5. I'll find it here. It's a beach video. It's a beautiful beach video. here open it in the project window let's drag this to that timeline it's a video of a beach in Hawaii and let's create the first title effect so in text right click it's like insert text media Cap lock on for this. We're going to call this location. Now, thick fonts work really well for this. So, we're going to pick impact for a font. And to make this larger, don't use the font size. Because what happens is when you zoom past the fonts, you get jagged edges. So, use scale. So, we'll scale this up. Right there is good. So make this uh, fifteen seconds long. Now let's go to compositing mode. It's like multiply mask. Go to event pan and crop. Now since it's 15 seconds long, yeah, 15 seconds long. Let's go to, we're gonna keep this static. Let's see, five seconds. Create a keyframe. Let's move it to right about, right at the end. Going for memory here. 
I'm gonna zoom in all the way to one of the letters. So let's gonna zoom in all the way to the A. And let's play this back and see what it looks like. Okay, you notice everything goes black after the text disappears. That's because Multiply Mask affects the bottom layers. So the way to get around this is go to the end of the clip, hit the S key to split it, and see the video track, and just drag the video above it. So I play it back now, it should be seamless. So it gives a real beautiful effect there. So now render for the project, render as, it's like Magix AVC AAC MP4, and select uh, 1080p, 20 frames per second right here, right here. And then click render, and that will render your video out. So I'll render this video out, and we'll come back, and we'll do the second effect. The second effect is a real epic effect. It's a real cool effect for uh, titles for any kind of video. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now we're going to do the next title effect. It's a real cool title effect. So with your media imported, right-click, insert text media, Call this vacation again. Change the impact. Scale it up. Make this four seconds long. Go to compositing mode. Multiply mask. Go to event pan and crop. Now the first keyframe here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom all the way in to the A. And we're gonna come out to about right about here. Right click, restore, create a keyframe for us. Now on this keyframe, it's like fast. Right click, select fast. So that's done here. So let's go to generate media. And let's animate this. So under scale, click animate. So about the two. The three second mark here. We're going to click on create keyframe. I'll bring it almost right to the end. I'm going to change the scale to 0 0.100. Zero zero. Hit enter. Let's play this back so it looks like. Make it a little longer. Put it back now. Good. Okay, so all your work's done for you now. So if you want to add more text, all you do is right click, copy, paste, create new copy of source media file. Okay. Put these right against each other. Go to General Media. We'll change this to Hawaii. We'll 
do one more here. Paste. Change this to 2019. Just gonna put it back, so like this. And once again, to get your video to keep playing, go in the end of the. Text, hit the S key to split, right click, insert video track, bring it to the top, so put it back, and steam us. So that's all you have to do to create an epic title effects in Movie Studio. If you have any questions or comments or requests for tutorials in Movie Studio, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and once again, most of my videos are Vegas Pro tutorials, but Movie Studio will work well with most of these tutorials I do, and there's nothing wrong with Movie Studio. I upgraded Movie Studio, it only cost me 49 bucks to upgrade it, whereas Vegas Pro cost me 200 bucks last time I upgraded, and to buy it the first time, it's about four or 500 bucks. So it's a very expensive program to buy. But if you're using Movie Studio, Movie Studio will do almost everything you need it, you need it for. You don't have to spend all that money to go out and buy Vegas Pro. Movie Studio will do lots of real cool effects. So once again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.